Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. Just a quick video on scheduling for Instagram. And uh, I want you to be more concerned with creating a posting schedule rather than finding some specific times. I will share with you some data <clears throat> on when the best times to post, the best days for engagement. But uh, you really want to create your own posting schedule. And uh, this is great for a couple of reasons. First of all, it adds consistency into your business, okay? It means that uh, you know your customers can come to expect or your followers can come to expect a certain type and a certain schedule of your posts. And that's great, right? Maybe every Monday, your followers are going to wake up to a new promotion that you pro post on Instagram, or every Wednesday, you're going to release a new product or whatever it is, right? You're going to give people a reason to follow you and to continue to follow you on Instagram. And I think even more, uh, more so than the consistency for your customers, it's great for entrepreneurs because it builds some consistency into your schedule, right? The last thing that I uh, uh, hate uh, or, the, or the biggest thing that I hate is waking up and not knowing exactly what I'm going to be doing. So I want to be adding scheduling to pretty much everything in my business, every aspect of my business, because I think that's uh, just a, a great thing to do for, uh, for or to help out your entrepreneurial ventures, right? Add consistency, add scheduling, add things so you know, okay, this is what I need to accomplish today. This is what I need to accomplish tomorrow, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And uh, I remember in one of the first videos, we talked about the different post types, right? Lifestyle shots, marketing shots, product shots, customer shots, if you have any. And uh, you want to basically rotate the post types. <clears throat> you should be really over 50% of, uh, of lifestyle and customer uh, post types, okay? You want to be uh, as, uh, as kind of generic as possible, not generic, but you want to be as, uh, as real as possible. You don't want to just use Instagram as a one-way uh, megaphone where you're just screaming out marketing messaging all the time. People are going to get sick and tired of that, right? They could subscribe to the email list or check out your website if they're interested in getting marketed to, right? But on Instagram, you really want to kind of be natural, just like every other account. And that's why Instagram really uh, um, wants you to focus on lifestyle imagery. And customer imagery is just as good. It's basically lifestyle imagery as well, except it's real customers enjoying your product. That's even better. <clears throat> I would try to stick for about a two to one ratio for uh, lifestyle and customer imagery compared to marketing and product imagery. So for every two lifestyle images you post, you could post one marketing image, and then you could go ahead and build a calendar and a little schedule for the next 30, 60, 90 days and have all your content ready up front, and that makes your uh, life a lot easier going forward. So uh, what are the best days to post? And uh, there are definitely different days. This is um, from Latergram, a nice uh, uh, kind of uh, analytic suite for Instagram. And you can see that, you know, uh, at a first glance, the numbers are pretty, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, pretty similar. First of all, the number that it's showing here in terms of uh, they're calling it average Instagram engagement is just likes and comments divided by the user's number of followers. And um, that's kind of a great metric to look at for uh, taking a look at their engagement level. Right. And you can see some of the engagement levels here. Um, it does shift. Um, Wednesday seems to be the, the highest day. Uh, Monday is the lowest. But, uh, you know, it's not a huge shift. So the bottom line is there's really not any days that are more important than others. That You need to be posting every single day, okay? Uh, again, I think it's less about what days to post. It's more about having a consistent schedule where you're making sure that you're getting content out in front of people pretty quickly. Remember in the uh, hashtag video, I showed you that even um, a post that could be 30 minutes old could already be two, three, four pages down um, and uh, effectively meaning they have to scroll a lot further on the app to actually find your content. So a little bit more best times of day to post. Here's some stats also from Latergram. All right, they're saying uh, Sunday at 5 p.m., Monday at 7 and 10 p.m. And these are for your local time zones. Or if not local, if you're doing e-commerce, you're selling something, the time zone of the majority of your customers. Okay, so a lot of for a lot of you, that's going to be uh, U.S.-based customers. And you see Monday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's got multiple time zones to really hit different uh, um, uh, different locations um, across the United States. Okay, you got Sunday at five, Monday at seven and 10, Tuesday, three and 10, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you're gonna be able to go ahead and use these post dates. But again, I'm not, I'm not super concerned. I don't schedule these based on what I'm seeing here on these stats. These are just some, uh, some studies that you can kind of use to build your initial calendar, but definitely go ahead and take a look for yourself, right? You don't have to be directly in these, uh, uh, this little grid of time. You can go ahead and figure out what might work best for you. So obviously we need to be doing a lot of posting, right? We're going to build a calendar and ideally you could have your next 90 days mapped out. And not only mapped out, you could, you could actually have your next 90 days scheduled to post automatically. And there's a lot of great tools that will allow you to schedule posts. You could add the caption. You could even add the hashtags beforehand. Some of those tools are uh, Hootsuite, 
which is actually free for a uh, up to a number of users. Ready Pulse, Postgram, Later.com, all of these basically do pretty much the same thing. They allow you to schedule posts in advance for Instagram, and you can go ahead and load up the next 30, 60, 90 days. And uh, if you combine that with using a program like easy.justincener.com, that automation software, then you have this pretty much running on autopilot 24-7, getting all the engagement, all the posting that you need running uh, pretty pretty nicely. So definitely recommend automating this if you can, and there's a great variety of sites to allow you to do that.